living things depend on the environment for food. Early man found food from his surroundings. When food became scarce in the place where he lived, he moved to another place again in search of food. He led a nomadic life. Later, he learned to grow food. From then on, he started leading a more settled life. Although man has learned to grow food, he depends on the natural environment for the food he grows. The crops grown in a particular place depend on the soil, rainfall and the climate of that place. Let's learn more about them. Soil Crops can grow only in the soil. The type of soil determines the type of crop that can grow in it. For example, black clay soil is good for cotton crop. But wheat and rice cannot grow in it. Water Crops cannot grow without water. Rain brings water. It irrigates the fields, fills up the lakes, wells and rivers. We are heavily dependent on water for our food. Farmers in Rajasthan, which receive less rainfall, grow bajra, wheat and jawar. They cannot grow rice. Rice plants need a large amount of water. Rice grows well in fields which remain waterlogged for many days. That's why it is grown in places which receive heavy rainfall. Temperature the temperature of a place is another very important factor. The type of food that can be grown in a place depends on the temperature of that place. Mangoes cannot be grown in Jammu and Kashmir and Sikkim as the climate is cold. Similarly, Fruits like apple and apricot cannot be grown in Bihar, West Bengal and Uttar Pradesh. It is too hot and these fruits require a cooler climate. The type of food a person eats also depends on where the person lives. This means a man's food habits depend on his environment. People in West Bengal and Assam mostly eat rice and fish. People in Goa and the coastal areas of Maharashtra and Karnataka also eat a lot of fish and rice. But they eat salt water fish. They also use a lot of coconut in their cooking. People in Jammu and Kashmir, Sikkim and Arunachal Pradesh eat a lot of fat. While people living in South India eat a lot of curd. Hence, we not only depend on the natural environment for our food, but our food habits too depend on our environment. The world has become very well connected.
because of excellent transport and communication systems. Now, we not only eat the things that grow locally, but also get a lot of variety from other parts of our country as well as the world.